Um, the Smash demo came out last week. Sure. And, uh, well, last week for Platinum and this week for everyone else. And um, I got a code for myself and, and one for Vani from people whose names I'll keep private because I don't know if they... I don't know if they want to be private or not, but thank you to both the people who gave me those two codes. Um, anyways, the demo is a lot of fun. Uh, it only gives you one level, as most people who are listening to this by now probably know. It's it only gives you one time level. Game. It's a time game, not a stock game. Uh, but it does give you a pretty neat selection of characters, because it gives you Mario, Pikachu, and Zelda, which are three classics that a lot of people like. And then it gives you two of the newer characters. It gives you uh, the Animal Crossing Villager, and it gives you Mega Man. Which are two ones that are, are which are be two new, a lot. Yeah. which are two new characters, yeah. and uh, you know I'm having more fun with it than I actually remember having with Smash Brothers in the past. Maybe it's because I've been playing it with Vani, um, maybe it's because I'm just trying to get into it a little bit more deeply while still having fun with items and stuff. But I've played quite a bit of the demo, and uh, I've been using Pikachu, who has always been one of my shock. Which has always been one of my mains. Sean, use the cute little freaking yeah, fuzzy four-year-old would want to use his character. Yeah. Yes. I wish I was Pikachu. <laughs> um, I, I wish I was an asexual yellow little animal. Yeah, electric mouse. They can be male and female. Um, <laughs> God, I don't want to picture that. Anyways, uh, so... You know, I, I, I've already noticed, you know, certain balance tweaks, like, you know, when Pikachu calls down the thunder, it doesn't hit as wide of a range. Mm. Um... Which is which is probably good for most people that I would fight against. Uh, Vani's been using the villager almost entirely because that's who she, she loves. The fact seems, that they put the villager in there seems like a co little complicated character to use. Yes, almost like Ness a little bit. How a little harder to jump around, but probably very powerful. You can master. Yeah, it. but she definitely wants to get good with villager. Um, she's been beating my ass at that game pretty solidly, which is unsurprising. But yeah, I've been enjoying it a lot and. Um, I'm really looking forward to it, and I will definitely be buying both the 3DS and the Wii U versions. Do you like the thumb pad? How does it feel? Well, I think the thumb pad feels fine, but you haven't talked yet on this topic, so go ahead, because I know you don't like it. It feels mushy. It feels like... The best way to describe it is that it almost feels like there's too much time to go from the middle to the edge. And the time for it to retreat back, if that makes any sense. Sure. It's just a little bit slower than using a joystick. You know what I mean? So it's like, it doesn't feel as responsive to me. I'm sure if I played it for a lot, I get used to it. But it just doesn't feel right. It just, it just didn't feel natural to me versus using uh, a thumb pad or you can't use a D-pad because there's analog in this. But I think that's why I guess they're going to come out with a new 3DS. So people, if you want to be an expert 3DS player, you're going to have to get the, you know get the new 3ds not necessarily i mean plenty of people do fine with the smashes where you just hit the direction and the button at the same time um i think this is why de demos exist so you can play through yeah I, I don't well i don't know if well, nintendo will change anything but really that's a minor tweak and that's a that's a very well, minor tweak that you can patch which is simply change it so that it has so that the the analog has a more deep head a, a more digital style feel so that there's less throw before action. Or, or change the sensitivity. That's options. what I'm saying. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah. I, I can maybe get on board with that. So maybe that you don't have to go to the entire edge in order to do the... Usually what? It's matches like three different sort of speeds to when you crawl. Or f actually four almost where you go really slow, medium, and then you run. But yeah, you know, change yeah. the sensitivity around. And I mean, I've heard, um, you know, because it's not a standard analog stick, because you are slamming the entire weight of it into the the the, uh, the support sure. there have been people online talking about how they've broken their circle sticks but th i mean to that i say that's not really nintendo's fault no. that's that's stop raging out so hard on smash yeah, brothers that's not that's not nintendo's fault because you can pull off the move without really freaking forcing right, the thing right there's no if that was wear and tear <laughs> if that was wear and tear that's fine, but I don't think that's where I think that's just being really, yeah, forcing it. There's no sensor on the stick part of the the analog. I mean, it, it's not detecting your smash by you literally smashing the circle yeah. pad. You know, that's just, silly. But again, I don't think I would buy a new system or new handheld just for the one game. But this is still going to sell like hotcakes either way. Because even even the fact that I didn't I didn't play it with uh, uh, Pro Jared. He actually got the the full one early, um, the full version. But I was tempted just to say, oh, we'll just walk around and play it against each other. So you go to these conventions, how awesome is that? You just pull it out, pull out the 3DS, and you can have five other people around you ready to play it. You know what I mean? That, that to me, sounds really freaking cool. I mean, I know you can do that with uh, all the Mario Karts on, the, on the, the DS and 3DSs, but for a, a fighter, that's really cool. Well, in Smash's 
Smash. I mean, it's it's hugely popular. Um, I've kind of noticed some of the the play on like the Mario Kart Seven has dropped since, which was the 3DS one mm-hmm. dropped since Mario Kart Eight came out because Mario Kart Eight is Amazing. way more balanced and far yeah. better. However. Um, if they're going to keep, at least mechanics-wise, both the 3DS and the Wii, ver- Wii U versions essentially the same, yeah, you're gonna s- I-, I think it's very easy to sell even the Curious, which is, ch- which is kind of what I-, what I am, because I've-, I've never fully jumped into Smash. It's really easy to sell the Curious on two versions based on the fact that we've got one for when I have people who come over on Sundays, and then we've got one for Magfest or when oh for, yeah you know for my buddies hang out because my you know two of my coworkers Vani and I hang out all the time. We all have 3DSs on us. Of course, we're gonna have Smash Brothers. You can sit on the couches and play and have your own screen, and yeah, you don't have to share the screen like you would with the with the uh, the Wii U. One thing with the Wii U, you probably one person with a pad, one person looking at the TV, which would be cool too. So I'm looking forward to the Wii U one. I, I really think this will be, that'll be cool as well. I do too, especially um, because my faith in Nintendo has been restored with uh, how well the online works in Mario Kart 8. Yeah, it's pretty good. I feel like the online is going to be a lot better than uh, the Wii version of Smash Brothers. Now, um, did they did they get rid of the single player mode like they had in the Wii version? Like they had that whole whole storyline is that pretty much gone? Yes, they did. And my understanding of it was and. It sounds stupid, and I could be wrong, but my legitimately, my understanding is that they said they weren't going to do the story mode because when they did it on the Wii, all the cutscenes got uploaded, and Beforehand. people could just watch them before uh, when the mm. instead of playing through the game. So why would they make a story mode? I don't, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if it's translation or just weird logic, but I mean, it that just goes. Over yeah. my head, I I don't get it. Nintendo's kind of weird about that stuff. It's it's they can do whatever they want though. It's their product, obviously. But I think they're being a little too secretive. I mean, they they already have like, uh, um, what is it called? They're not, they're not allowing people to speak out on even the, the characters that are in the game, like secret cat. Like they're doing weird shit, telling like reviewers they can't tell like, they can't tell like what's unlockable even or things like that. Or they're just being weird. Whatever. Uh, we, we, well, I guess we even want to talk about it, but Duck Hunt Dog is confirmed, obviously, at this point, so that's really cool. Yeah. They're taking a chance. They got Rob back in there. so I don't think Rob left. Rob was in the last one. But, I mean, people thought he'd be gone. Oh, okay. The only ones I got rid of were, were, were the Ice Climber people, which which they said, they actually gave a good reason why they are eliminated. Hmm. They basically said that they didn't think they could pull off if they could, if basically, if say, if four people selected it, having eight characters on the screen. Hmm. You know I mean, what I mean? Yeah, I mean, which makes it makes sense. It could have been too much. I can't remember the other person they eliminated. God, there was one other. Some guy with the sword, probably. Now, it it yeah. upset me that they got rid of the ice climbers because I just thought it was a cute idea. It was how cute. It worked. Um, I would have just made it to one then. But I also know they were exploitable characters yes. in the GameCube version, and so I mean, you know, it, it's like any fighting game. Um, I know we've had the discussion. Is it a fighting game? But like any fighting game, roster changes happen. That's so that's it, that's. It's a fighting game. Yeah, you would have argued that about six months ago. It's a party fighting game, but it's a fighting Whatever. game. Whatever. Uh, I never said it's not a fight. What, what, what genre do you think it is? It's a it's a it's a fighting game. Macaroni. Macaroni. But no, I mean they've only dropped a, a few characters over all these iterations, so that's that's commendable if they kept this huge yeah. roster of. Now, well, that's, and that's what I'm getting what, at. Three, four dozen characters now. Jesus. I play tons of fighting games, and, and boo hooing over the loss of a character yeah. is is part of liking that type of game. Yeah, you get over it. Maybe they'll bring it back for the uh, the, the Super Wii U or whatever dumb name they decide to do the next any uh, next Nintendo console in order to not sell as many copies as they should of it. 